everyone, my name is Sarah. Today the topic I will talk about is climate change and the increasing impact of polar bears on bird population. And first I want to talk about why do you need research. And look at this video. And we can see the polar bear are fighting bird egg. Yeah. And in the right hand corner, we can see the polar bear in colony more long and the egg take by bear more, more and more. So yeah, it shows how polar bear eat the bird egg. Okay, and people observe polar bears from a bird egg and people wanted to know uh, whether the climate change will affect a polar bears and seabird population or not. So this is why I do this research. And that is the introduction. And in this study, we propose two suggestions. And the first suggestion is continuous sea ice reduction will severely affect polar bears uh, populations. And look at this figure, this continuous sea ice reduction. And it will force polar bears into terrestrial um, ecosystem during the summer month in searching of food. And look at this, uh, this page, it shows polar bears live on the sea ice in Arctic. And we can see uh, human burning of fossil fuel like coal and oil. It will increase the concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide. And the high concentration of up uh, carbon dioxide, it will uh, cause a stronger greenhouse effect and it will warm the uh, ocean and particularly melt glacier and other ice, increasing the sea level. Okay, so according to above, we know the Arctic is becoming warmer at a high rate. So, um, under the situation, we know contraction in the extent of sea ice are currently changing the habitat of marine top protector depend on ice. Uh, so we can see polar bears are forced to live. And for this pop predator, it means polar bears. And longer ice free season are hypothesized to force the bear to hunt for alternative terrestrial food. So according to the above, we know the melting of our Arctic sea ice is forcing polar bears to spend more time on land. So this is the suggestion one. And the suggestion two is Polar bears on land can potentially have a large impact on their prey. And we now polar bears um, eat many kinds of food, such like seals and fish and bird eggs. But in particular, when, bird, uh, when bears feed on bird eggs, it will have a large impact on their on, on sea bird population. So this is why this research uh, focuses on the bird egg. And this page is show originally polar bears depend on sea ice for hunting seals. But when the global climate, um, climate change getting more seriously, uh, yeah, we know the sea ice will disappear and the polar bears are forced to the dead. So polar bears will try to find another food source like bird egg. So when the polar bears find the bird egg, it will, and they will eat them. So they have much impact on bird population. So previous I mentioned are paper suggestion phenomena. And this suggestion phenomenon will raise two questions. The first question is, what are, what are the underlying causes of, of this shift? And the second question is, what is the role of polar bears as a novel top predator in terrestrial habitat near the coast? So our study main purpose have two. And the first one is to prove the suggestion is real. And uh, is, uh, the suggestion is in this. And the two purpose is understand and observe the two questions, which raised by the suggestion phenomena. Yeah, so that is a method. And this page is show the study areas. And in this study, we collect five sites. And one is in the East, uh, East Greenland, and another is in the uh, Spitsbergen Svalbard, it's in Norway. Yeah, and uh, I, uh, we collect by our data. And the research will in the tower and it will observe the polar bear and write down the data. And, and in this uh, study, we collect four data. The first one is bear present. And the second is bear occur state. And the third is bear days. And the next one is bear production rate on birds. Okay, and next is the CI data. CI data we download in group site and we separate two parts. And one is large scale and the uh, uh, another is fine scale. And next is the result and discussion. 
And when a new predator entering the skin, a delicate balance between predator and their prey may be preferred. And where is main head in, in flus? And the predator is main polar bear and prey is a seabird. And polar bears colonize in coastal areas from which they have been absent for a long time. It is an example for this situation. Okay. Um, this figure is talk about temporal change in sea ice conditions. And, and this, uh, this figure is large scale sea ice condition change substantially during 1979 to 2030 in the study area. And X label is years, and the Y label is ice cover percent. And the legend is a month. And look at red light, it's, a, uh, it's April. And in the 1980, we can see the ice cover is about 80%. And in 2004, uh, 2005, we can see the ice cover is about 30%. So we can, eh, what? <laughs> we, can, we can very roughly see ice cover dropping significantly over time for almost a month. And for all area dropping too, we can see the, uh, yeah, it dropping, yeah. So next figure is about various observations. This figure is show a numerous number of polar bear days. And the F label is years, and the Y label is number of bear days. And we can um, we can see a new number of bear days increase exponentially on average by 50 percent each year. So we can say as the air increase, the, uh, we can more and more often look the uh, polar bears. Yeah. And next figure is talk about a new probability of polar bears present. And the probability of polar bears being present was negatively related to lack. Yeah, it has negative related and the F label is lack of ice season and the Y label is probability of bear present. And we can see uh, that one is about area. So um, uh, uh, we can um, more bears were encountered on land in years when the ice season was show. So we can see when the ice season was show, we can uh, the probability of uh, bears present is more big. Yeah. So for our figure, uh, we can prove the suggestion one. The suggestion one is continuous sea ice reduction will severely affect polar bears population. Okay. And next is talk about for, uh, further reason why polar bears arrive earlier on land. Yeah. Uh, initially, bears used to show up from, from the end of incubation onward, whereas in most recent years, the first bears arrived during the earlier nest phase. And the word incubation and it means a little bird get out of an egg. Yeah. This, suggest, uh, this suggests that uh, bears have adapted seasonal movement after experience with new food results. Yeah, adapt seasonal movement. Okay, and this figure is show a class of polar bears on West Bergen in summer 2004 to 2014. And we can see in 2005 and 2006, we have no data because we have no observed in, in this range. Yeah. So we can see in 2004, uh, the bear arrived on there is about uh, July to August. And in 2014, uh, we can see the polar bear right on that is about June to Ju July. So, and in 2004, we still can observe the orange dot. Orange dot is very thick, uh, <laughs> thick, no, yes. And in 2014, we cannot observe the orange dot. So, this is show that polar bear uh, uh, arrive on land and separate indicate our uh, polar bears that predated birds' nest, and those that were not observed eating eggs. So the observation suggests that polar bears adapt quickly once they have discovered new hunting opportunity. So it is also the reason why polar bears earlier arrival on land. Okay, and next is the, why could the polar bears have higher proportion of predated nest? And this figure is show polar bears production in bird colonies. So we can see the S label is years. Right. And the Y label is nest predating. So we can see in, in all uh, um, in all areas and we can see the nest predation is all at a high rate. Yeah. 
So earlier arrival by bears in the colonies result in higher proportion of predicting nests. We can see the earlier arrival by bear will result in higher proportion of predicting nests. Okay. Um, the prediction often lead to nest territories being occupied occupied by those pairs that otherwise might have had a difficult in obtaining a nest site, which increase the number of eggs available to bear later in the season. So from our figure, we can prove the suggestion too. Polar bears on land can potentially have a large impact on their prey, in particular when bears feed on bird eggs. So um, it is a conclusion. And in this study, we can know the two shifts in polar bears. And the first one is polar bears extending their range toward the coastal area. And second is polar bears have high production rate on bird. So uh, we we have uh, we have evidence that this change will driven by shifts in sea ice uh, sea ice condition. So. We can say the climate change will affect in polar bears and sea bird population. So I think we should pay more attention to global environmental change. And thank you for your attention.